Hey everybody, it's Tanya with Thrifty Treasures, and I thought while I had some time, I would bring you a quick um, haul video. So, <clears throat> last weekend, Margaret and I were supposed to go to a YouTube meetup uh, up in Houston with some other YouTube, uh, people have YouTube channels here in the Houston area, but it got canceled at the last minute, and so we decided to go thrifting down in Houston. So... Um, we had a ton of fun. Um, we also went to dinner down there. We ate at, um, what's it called? Something Hobbit or another. Anyway, it was really good food. And of course we had to stop by Krispy Kreme Donuts because there's not one, uh, down here in the area, uh, where I live, uh, only up in Houston. So we had a ton of fun and we bought a bunch of fun stuff. So one of the things I got was this, um, this pretty brown hat. It is dyed Italian lamb lamb what's it called oh goodness yeah just dyed italian lamb <laughs> i guess that means the lambs were raised in italy <laughs> anyway um it's from Saks fifth avenue and i only paid three dollars for it and i was looking at um ebay over here and it looks like it's not sold somebody's just listed it um and honestly it looks exactly like mine like Mine has this um, this uh, ribbon here, like you see, like that ribbed little area where there isn't any um, there isn't any fur or anything right there. So mine looks uh, just like that. Lamb's wool. That's what I wanted to say earlier. Duh. Goodness gracious, lamb's wool. So I was gonna put it in my booth, my antique booth, but now looking at it on eBay, um, I might put it up on eBay, maybe for uh, forty nine ninety nine or best offer. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the um, comments down below what you think I should, um, what platform you think I should sell it on. Okay, let me find me again. Where did I go? Where am I? Oh, I know what I can do. I can just uh, move this. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Okay, there I am. Okay, I'm going to leave the hat on for the video because you guys know I am a hat person. <laughs> okay, so this morning um, I was running my rounds and lo and behold, I found this little Amsterdam Starbucks coffee mug. Um, so there's the back side of it. And here's the front. And I only paid, what does that say, 49 cents? 49 cents for this one. And whenever I picked it up, I Whenever I looked up the uh, soles, it's only going for about $20, but that's okay. I only paid 50 cents, so um, let me show you real quick what it's going for. Let me move all this. I have not mastered moving these windows and setting this stuff up. So there it is. It looks just like mine. It's got this blue down here at the bottom. <clears throat> and um, yeah, only about $20. And I, that, I searched like about... I looked up about three of them, and um, they're, they're all going for about $20, the used ones, uh, with some shipping, too. And I always, always charge shipping on my coffee mugs, y'all, because it's really expensive to um, ship coffee mugs, so I always charge for that. I never offer free shipping with the coffee mugs. Um, okay, let me... And I did pick up um, this morning a couple more mugs. I picked up <clears throat> for $2.00. I got four of these little crate and barrel uh, mini snowman mugs, and they're from the year um, 2006. I don't know if you can see that. So I um, looked up on eBay, and apparently they're pretty collectible, and they're in super good condition. So let me just show you real quick. Um, let me move this over. So here you can see two of them. Um, have these sold? Let me go back up here and look. Listing has ended. Maybe it didn't sell, but I did search a bunch of other ones, y'all. And I remember two of them had sold for like $20. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I could get like, I don't know, maybe 30 for four, four, four um, little bitty mugs. So we'll see. I'll put them up on eBay and we'll um, see what happens. I'll definitely be charging shipping with that though. It looks like this person didn't do that. 
Um, okay, so some of the next items I bought, uh, I got two pieces today and one of them yesterday, the one I picked up yesterday. I, I love the white uh, milk glass and I think it's so pretty and I like to um, piece it, like um, get a lot of the pieces and do a real pretty display of them. So this one, I think it's like um, like a candle holder maybe. Um, I paid up for this one a little bit. I paid $5 for it. And I believe this is called like hobnail uh, milk glass. So I got this one and then I picked up these two this morning. Um, and I paid a dollar each for these. And they're just little bud vases. So I have, this makes like about, I think I have about five of these now, so I should probably cut it off. That's enough. <laughs> five is enough. Um, so they'll look really pretty um, together. And then <clears throat> another thing I bought, and those were for all for me, and then I picked up this. <laughs> I know some people probably think it's hideous, right? I'm sure this handle here has seen uh, better days for sure. But uh, it was $4, and it's, let's see, what's it called? It's called Country Flowers. I think it's by Sanko. Let's see, and um, it's so cute. I just, I love the vintage stuff. I couldn't resist, I had to have it. So um, I'll be keeping this for me. <laughs> but I did look it up for kicks on eBay and actually it's not really even going for that much. I think they sell for about, yeah, this one, $12.95 plus $12.95 shipping also. So uh, I guess they're not really that collectible. Not too many people want them. Their handle definitely looks better than mine, though. That's for sure. So yeah, I'll be keeping uh, that for myself. So I'm going to go ahead and close that because I won't need that no more. OK, so the last thing I want to show you is I picked up some jewelry yesterday. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you these pieces real quick. Um, here are some real pretty nautical earrings, little starfish at the top and some um, anchors here at the bottom. And whenever I was looking at them, I thought I saw some writing right there. But then after I got home and uh, looked a little bit closer, it's just, it's nothing. So they're not marked. I paid $2.42 for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm hoping, you know, I'll probably list them for, I don't know, maybe $10 or $15. But they're real cute. I love nautical stuff. Beachy themed nautical type stuff. Then I got this little gal here. I guess she is a golfer. I paid up for her a little bit. I paid $3.93. Um, it is a brooch and it is marked. Let me just double make sure. It is marked AJC. So I don't know if you can see the marking. You probably can't. But, uh, so I have sold some AJC brooches before. I'm not sure what that stands for, but I've sold a horse brooch before like that. And I think it sold for about $15. So I'm pretty confident I can at least get um, $10 or $15 for that one. I haven't done a ton of research. I still need to look that one up. Oh gosh, I was about to open this. <laughs> and I got a little bag of jewelry too for $2.92. Okay. And so, um, oh, that's my magnet sticking to it. Get off there. This is the magnet I use. <laughs> um, like uh, Margaret and I have been saying with the jewelry jars and jewelry bags, um, you know, don't just go in and buy like the first jar you see. Always uh, be looking for something inside the bag that you know that you can make your money back on uh, pretty quick. So, you know, for, oops, for $2.92, that was an earring that just fell out, I guess, when I started to open it. But... Uh, for $2.92, I'm willing to take that chance. I saw uh, one of the gold earrings, one of them just fell out of the bag. Uh, but, uh, so I saw that, and then I saw, what else did I see? Oh, I saw, uh, I don't know if you can see, it looks like a gold chain. I'm going to open it. So, now that I've showed you, I'm just going to pull it out and open it. I wanted to open it last night to see if it was real gold, but I wanted so much to show you guys um, the packaging and everything before I opened it. So, oh my goodness, I am tearing into this. 
Okay, let me see if I can find that gold real quick for you. Okay, here it is. Okay, so here it is. This is the gold necklace that I saw in there. And I was also looking at those um, those gold earrings as well. Um, they were not sticking to the magnet. <coughs> so let me just see. Ah, uh, poo. Wait. Okay, so it's not sticking. Wait, be still. It's not sticking to the magnet, but the clasp does. This is like the third piece I found recently that the clasp will stick to the magnet, but the other part that I, you know, think is gold doesn't. So I'm just going to look real quick with my magnifying glass and see if there's any markings on it. Oh my goodness, y'all. Sweet! It's marked 14 karat gold! I'm so excited! I had a feeling it might be, but like I said, I didn't want to open the bag um, until I showed you guys the packaging, um, how it was whenever I bought it. So I'm super excited. It's 14 karat gold. I have no idea how much it's worth. Um, I'll probably go be going to see um, the jewelry guy that lives down the street from me. He runs a little shop and I'll see what um, he will get me for this. I'm so excited. Yay! Um, and real quick, let me look at that earring before I let you guys go. Um, I know one of them dropped on the floor. Oh, here's the other one. I wanted to look at this one yesterday, too. Okay, so they're like um, little shrimp, little shrimp gold hoops. And let's see, that's what the back looks like. I can't remember. I don't think, nope, this one's not sticking to the magnet either. Oh, wait. Well, the post is, but the other part of the necklace isn't. So let me look real quick at the magnifying glass. Oh, gosh, I see something, but I can't make it out. Okay, y'all, it's marked Monet. However... It looks like it says 925. Huh. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe it's, maybe they're silver with gold over overlay. I'm not sure what that means. Um, but anyway, I will have to get back to y'all and um, let you know what else I find in here uh, in another video. Here's another piece that's gold. Let me just, here's another piece that I saw in there. For kicks, let's just see if it sticks to the magnet. And it does, yeah. So if it sticks to the magnet like this, yeah, <laughs> you definitely know that is not gold. You do not have any gold if it's going to stick to your magnet. So um, if you guys want to check out the magnet I use, it's uh, <clears throat> really strong. I'll leave um, a link down in the description box below. And I hope you enjoyed my quick little haul video, guys. Please subscribe to me and give my video a thumbs up. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Oh, did I not stop this? <laughs> I always try to stop the little bitty window and not the big window. Oh, my gosh. So embarrassing. Gosh, get it together, Tanya.